Good morning and welcome to your Monday morning cup of cyber. Uh, change things up a little bit. Don't know if we're like this setup or not, but we'll move things around if we have to. Um, but welcome to Monday. It's been a kind of beautiful week here in Virginia. We had uh, weather about 70 degrees, crazy for January. Uh, today's Illy Coffee brought to you by the city and state of New York. Always a good way to start the week off. So uh, today, being Monday, we'll talk about a job in the security field. Um, today's job is one of the ones we see a lot in the government, um, and it's the the ISO role, or Information System Security Officer. And the definition from the Homeland Security website is the uh, Information System Security Officer, or ISO, serves as the principal advisor of the information system owner, or SO, the business process owner, and the chief information security officer, uh, CISO, uh, the information system security manager, or ISM, on all matters technical and otherwise involving the security of the information system. Um, big, huge mouthful there. And that's, uh, in many terms, that's kind of what the ISO does. The ISO is the primary security person for, for a system or a business process. Um, generally, they work at the system level, um, but they could work at the business process level uh, in some organizations. And normally they report into someone like an ISM or an information system security manager. Um, they are the go-to uh, person for information security for a system or sometimes even for a, a group of systems. Um, I always recommend that if you want to learn security, that you go and try to find a job as an ISO. Um, as an ISO, you're going to be experienced to, to everything that goes on with an information system. You're going to get experience faster than probably any other job because you're going to get so many tasks that come from, um, you know, the, the system owner. Uh, there's a ton of tasks that are assigned to the system owner. Um, and these are generally handed right down to the ISO. Um, for example, if you look in the RMF, there's a lot of jobs that the requirement goes to the, the business owner, the system owner, um, and those are almost all uh, immediately transferred over to the ISO. Um, the ISO will do, do things in cryptography, they'll do things in system patching, they'll do things in system design, um, they'll handle uh, user accounts a lot of times. They can't handle some logging and monitoring. Just about anything you're going to see in the security field, um, the ISO is going to have their hand in. So uh, as an entry-level job, the ISO is going to be a, a great place for you to get and get your hands dirty. I, I would highly recommend anyone that's, that's entering the security field to seek out and find an ISO job. Um, the one thing you're going to find is this job is mostly for the government. You'll see this uh, as a government job most of the time. Um, you know, and that's, that's, you know, that's kind of the way it is. Uh, it, it, it is a government role. But, um, you know, system security administrator or security administrator is a similar job in, in the outside world, right? And we'll talk about those specific job titles later. Um, for this one, we'll talk about um, you know, what is the job outlook for an ISO? And again, you're going to find that, that title, that specific title, a lot of times around government organizations, whether that's military, intelligence community, or just, just federal or state level government. Um, so that puts it really a, a lot of places. So um, we'll look nationwide at what the different uh, rates are. So nationwide, um, the average salary for an ISO is about 125000 a year. Um, with entry level jobs, oh, that's, uh, that's it. let me back up. That'll equate to about $64 an hour. If you're keeping track of hourly rates, um, entry level jobs, about 87,000 as a starting rate. Um, and, and keep in mind that a lot of these jobs will require some type of, of backward background check, right? So, um, jobs for the DOD or for the intelligence community, a lot of times they'll require some type of clearance, uh, secret, top secret confidential sometimes. Mostly it's going to be secret or top secret. Um, but jobs within the rest of the government are probably going to require some type of background check, just a, a, a 
background check to make sure um, you can be trusted because the security people will be around um, internal documentation, system documentation, all, uh, a lot of um, you know sensitive information. So they got to have uh, some kind of clearance. Um, experienced folks, about one hundred and fifty thousand seventy-five. I'm, I'm glad um, that Navo N E U V O dot com um, put that seventy-five dollars in there. Couldn't just round down. But that's, that's where the figures, facts and figures came from. Um, I'll put the link to them below if you want to check different jobs. Um, but, you know, it's, a, it's not a bad, that's, that's na your nationwide averages. Um, want to look at local localities. Um, if you're in Florida, um, you can expect an average salary of about $133,575. Um, is there jobs there? There's about 80. So there's a lot of military in Florida. Um, there's 80 available today, and these are jobs as of today uh, on ZipRecruiter. So ZipRecruiter.com is where um, I searched for these positions, and I searched only for ISO um, in that state, right? Um, Washington State is about 125,000 is the average. And you'll find about nine jobs today open for ISOs in Washington State. Those are going to be mostly around probably Seattle, right? And then our last state, of course, uh, out in Virginia, close to D.C. Um, salary there, 122500 And right now, 444 open positions in Virginia, mostly supporting the government in, in D.C. Um, as you can see, there's there's a lot a lot of work uh, available for for an ISO. Um, you know, you're going to normally require some type of background check if you're going to work for the government, um, and you want to have a certification. So, looking at 8570, which is the the DoD's guide on um, required certifications and training, um, one of the one of the prime uh, certifications for getting into an ISO job is that Security Plus. And, you know, you'll see later today um, the schedule for what's going on this week, and we'll be putting out another module um, for Security Plus this week, um, covering the second half of that malware. Um, look for um, the Cyber Rundown later. We'll put down what's, uh, what's coming up this week on the channel. Um, still love to hear from you guys, hear what's going on, um, you know, make your comment, like, write your comments below. We'd love to see what's going on, what, what you have out there, what you want to hear, um, your experiences in cyber. If you're working in cyber, what's going on? What, what, uh, what do you think of the field? How, how are your, your feelings about this career? Um, subscribe, of course, hit that bell to be notified, um, you know, make your comments before, below, leave your comments below, make them, leave them. Um, again, love to hear from you. Guide the conversation. Let me know where you want to go. Um, I've got a new piece of software here. We'll be able to figure out if, if you're live, and I can see a couple people live out there. I just can't see who right now um, because uh, <laughs> I haven't been able to turn this feature on in the software. So I'll, I'll get that turned on today. Let's... Uh, Let's go out and see if there is any comments, of course. I can look on the phone. All right, a couple people. Doesn't look like any any big comments today. So, but you can't you can comment live. We'll figure out how to do that by tomorrow. Um, we'll be able to be able to. Um, have a conversation. Don't want to hear uh, background of the recording. Uh, sorry about that. Technical difficulties on a technical channel. That's always funny. Um, again, love to hear from you. Um, hit the bell to he be notified of new ch new ch episodes coming out. Subscribe, like the channel, uh, comment below. Really, really want to hear what you got to say. But anyways, uh, this is Jim. As always, from your Monday morning. Uh, cup of cyber. Enjoy your day. Be safe out there. 
and we will talk soon.